My name is Victoria Dickinson. I'm the director of the McMichael Canadian Art Collection in Kleinberg, just north of Toronto. The McMichael, of course, is well known for these collections of the Group of Seven, and many Canadians have grown up with these images. But this exhibition brings together works not only from public collections, where people may have had an opportunity to see things like the West Wind or the Jack Pine, but also brings together works from private collections that have never left their owners' homes, and we've brought them together so you'll see a sketch for a work with the larger work. You'll see some wonderful full-scale canvases that have been really in the private domain. My name is Ian de Jarden. I'm the Sackler Director of Dulwich Picture Gallery in South London, England, and I'm one of the curators of this show. When I was putting the show together, I wanted to focus on a kind of journey, which is how it seemed to me, um, not being a Canadian, uh, it, the, the paintings broke up into kind of districts. So there's a kind of geographical journey, but it, it ties in with a, an aesthetic journey as well because there are development, there's a development between, say, 1912 and 1932. And I think a spiritual journey too, moving from Tom Thompson to Lauren Harris. Um, Lauren Harris with a the theosophy and his ideas about the divine and nature. Tom Thompson, I think, probably saw the divine in nature in individual leaves in detail. From the point of view of uh, the Europeans' interest in Canadian art, I have to say I'm not convinced there really is any. And I think that's possibly the Canadians' fault. I think you keep your light under a bushel, rather. And so um, the group of seven, iconic here in Canada, were actually very little known. Um, outside Canada. Now the English love landscape and they love landscape to distraction so I knew that if I could put on a really beautiful show they would fall in love with it. Well I believed that they would fall in love with it and actually they did, that's exactly what they did. Um, we uh, encountered something very much like a Twitter storm uh, about this exhibition. I remember on the last day overhearing a gentleman standing in the grounds at Dulwich Pitch Gallery looking at the enormous queues on, out onto the street and saying, what is this? It's not as if it's Van Gogh or anything, it's just a bunch of Canadians no one's ever heard of, he said. And I said, yes, that's, that's it, but you've heard of them now. W one of the things I don't want to give an impression of is that Europe didn't care about Canadian art. They didn't know about Canadian art. There is a real difference there. And that's the point. What is there not to fall in love with? Um, I always knew this, because uh, basically the paintings are colorful, they're vibrant, they're painterly, and they're exceptionally assured. And any art audience is gonna like that, I think, if you give them the opportunity to see it. So there's no mystery here. Um, anyone who f doesn't fall in love with Tom Thompson, just, you know, I'm sorry, I give them up. Katerina Tanasova, Chief Curator of the McMichael Canadian Art Collection and Co-Curator of the Exhibition Painting Canada, Tom Thompson and the Group of Seven. First and foremost, the exhibition is different in scope and in context. Uh, we have invited international scholars, European scholars, to comment on the works of Tom Thompson and the Group of Seven in a very unique and interesting way to create a context and position them within the context of European artistic development. Uh, also, uh, as curators, we took uh, efforts to locate whatever possible a sketch and canvas and uh, bring them together in this exhibition. And as you probably know, a lot of the um, sketches and canvases are uh, parts of different collections. Rarely you see a sketching canvas uh, being presented in one collection. So to have an opportunity uh, for Canadian audiences as well as European audiences to see the production and, and sort of the translation of a work of art from a sketch to a canvas uh, creates a wonderful and, and an exciting moment of discovery. We're also very fortunate to have a lot of material culture elements um, the artist's paint boxes, palettes, uh, paint tubes, uh, brushes, uh, as well as personal belongings. And those were nicely incorporated within uh, spaces as appropriate to bring that almost uh, physical element, physical presence of the artist in the exhibition. Mm -hmm. 
So please come and visit this exhibition at McMichael. You'll see the group of seven as you've never seen them before. You'll see them with fresh eyes. Mm -hmm.